going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of a loot stalwart place today we're playing world of warcraft dragonflight on our level 60 yes our level 60 now, i know i said nightmare but this is our level six i heard it i heard the whispers guys i heard the call it was the call of the void there were whispers last night whispers You'll see what I'm saying in a little bit. The call of the void. The twisted void. Whispers, whispers, whispers. The whispers say six minutes left to work on our spec. Whispers, whispers. I'm going to work on my spec a little bit. I, I well, I can show you the process. We're in queue, so we got about six minutes. There's no pressure, okay? So this is the build here. We'll call this the starter build. I think it's the same as the starter build there. Starter. We'll just say, we'll call it whispers. No, we'll just call it starter, starter whispers. Starter whispers. Starter whispers. Oh, wait, hold on. We got to actually, we're, we're supposed to, okay, starter whispers. I ain't done this very much. Okay. And then that the, what we're what we're uh, importing is the string from the export from what it, it makes sense. Trust me. OK, so now we have starter whispers and then I'm going to. Um, get as rid of as many of these as possible. Looks like you can't get rid of shadow or death. You can't get rid of shadow fiend. What if I go this way? Can I do it then? Nah. And then as far as these are concerned, okay. We got a fresh build here. Okay, whispers, whispers, whispers. This is for the Shadow Priest, okay? Now the Shadow Priest does damage by way of shadows. Afflicts the target. Okay, so this is called Devouring Plague. Requires shadow form. Afflicts the target with a disease that instantly causes so much shadow damage. And then an additional amount of shadow damage over six seconds. Almost actually even more shadow damage as a dot than it does as an initial hit. So they get hit with a, like almost 18, 1.8k. They get, they get hit with 1800 damage. And then they suffer almost 1900 damage over six seconds after that. And then that damage heals me. So it's like, it's like a vampire. It's like kind of like a void elf vampire type okay so we also have from there devouring plague that sounds like it's it costs 50 insanity so it, that's that's good you want to spend your insanity right you don't want to retain insanity so okay dispersion that's like a it's like a defensive cooldown we're not we're not thinking very defensively unless there's some benefit here mental fortitude Healing from your vampiric touch, devouring plague, will now shield you for the same amount. Yeah, that is kind of like vampire stuff. But a shield? I don't know. Coalescing shadows. We could get there in two moves from this way too, so we don't have to go that route. Mind seer and shadow word pain. Mind seer is like an A. It's like an AOE, an area of effect spell. Shadow Word Pain is a, it's a single target dot, kind of like Devouring Plague. Chance to grant you coalescing shadows and mind flay, 15% chance coalescing, stacking up to three times. So as we mind share and as our Shadow Word Pain uh, goes off, we have a chance to get coalescing shadows, which uh, has a 15% chance. Oh, also mind flay has a 15% chance to grant us coalescing shadows. So, uh, Mind Seer, the AoE, Mind Flay, the single target, and then Shadow Wear Pain, the dot that we can stack on multiple targets if we want. They all have percentages of chances to give us coalescing shadows. As we get up to three, it says Mind Blast and Mind Spike consume all those shadows to deal 10% increased damage per stack. And then consuming at least one increases the damage of my periodic effects. So like that devouring plague hits like a freight train over time. This will hit even harder now. Okay, so but we're not gonna go dispersion to get there. Shadowy apparitions. This is a passive. I like these because they don't you don't have to push the button. It's just automatically happening in the background. 
Mind Blast, Devouring Plague, and Void Bolt have a 100% chance to conjure shadowy apparitions, and Mindseer has a 50% chance to conjure that. Um, they float towards it, so it's like a shadowy, a per, like, part of, like, it looks like my, my spirit comes out, and it hits them with Vampiric Touch. Oh, every target afflicted with Vampiric Touch gets hit by these guys. Ah, crit strikes with Mind Blast, Devouring Plague, and Void Bolt increase the damage of the shadowy apparitions. Interesting. And then there's also Silence. I think I go Silence mainly because I'm always, like, the interrupting is just so useful. I feel like interrupting is just so useful. Actually, you end up out on a, you can't get anywhere from Silence. So it costs you to silence. All right, like I said, we're never going to silence. I never wanted to silence to begin with. All right, we got a choice between two of these. We got Dark Void and Misery. Misery says Vampiric Touch always applies shad Shadow Word Pain. And Shadow Word Pain lasts an additional five seconds. So this makes it to where we don't have to cast two different spells to apply these two different abilities. Kind of eliminates one whole move from our rotation, actually. Um, dot damage isn't super good though. I, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested and curious to see how this is going to work. Cause things die kind of quick. Except Dragonflight expansion, things die pretty, pretty slowly. Dark Void unleashes an explosion of dark energy around your target. Dealing shadow. Uh, I think I go that one. All right. Like, remember how we had the starter build? Yes. Well, we still have that starter build we could just run with. I don't know if all my moves are out, though. We're going to be finding out on the fly. No, we don't have mind games out. Angelic Feather we're probably going to need. Flash Heal? I don't know if we'll need that. I need some water. Halo? Hmm. Probably want Halo somewhere else, like here. Or let's do that here. Dark Ascension. That Shadow Crash sounds like a stun. Dispel Magic sounds like a utility. That looks like a trinket. Okay. We have a certain button logic, so I know where to put moves based off of where I normally push moves on my other characters, like in the rotations. So I'm just trying to always follow that same kind of logic. There's most most classes have a spam ability, or if you're a caster, like a single uh like spell that you cast over and over. And that's always my number three right above my movement button. Mind flay appears to be the spam or the filler. Alright, let's give everybody fortitude. I don't know why I have a macro. I just hit it again just in case. Um do I have Leap of Faith? I think I got a spec into Leap of Faith. I'm trying to think of moves I can get rid of here. Intruders. They will not get far. I don't want to get in that. It looks like our Vampiric and, and uh, Vampiric Touch actually gives the Shadow Word Pain. So we spec that way that we read earlier. Which is kind of cool. We're going to do like some cooldown moves. Void Eruption. We're going to assist that person with some uh, power infusion. And I'm using this on them to heal them for some reason. I'm not trying to do that. Okay. I haven't played the Shadow Priest in a minute. In a minute, minute. So I'm learning these moves. Mind Flay Insanity. That's new. Again, we um, Now it's just you and me and my god. And my gods. We gotta kill and his guards. Probably the caster first, yeah. Actually, we need to leave one alive to eat the spear. I forgot about that. He's he's dead anyways. It's all fine. Ooh, an upgrade. You can't stop the moonlight. Can't stop the moonlight. Okay. 
Just getting reacquainted here. I have broken macros. I don't really know what those are. Apparently, I don't have auto self cast on. I have uh, use other this mouse over click thing. I think I kind of like that for the shadow priest here, though. We're going to dark ascension. We got that same beam we can use as a damaging ability on enemies. We did that to that pretty easily wiped out that uh, hate coil arcanist. It seems we have guess. Oh, look at the orb. It's all pretty now. Oh, oh, she's already. We got all of them. That was fast. Lady Hate Coil. Wow, I don't remember being able to see so much of this. I don't know if we get on the island now or if we wait. I forget. Fatic Nova, get out of the water, okay? I don't know what that move is. Okay, Insanity. That changes my mind play, okay. I could just give Power Infusion to myself, right? Yeah, let's do it that way. And then there's this Halo move. Oh, I made like a dark Halo, that was cool. Look, she's all Super Saiyan. Yes, you're gonna pay for this, Fre Frieza. Frieza! Void chicken. We got the void chicken moving. Oh, well, speaking of void. We also have a kitty cat buster here. Kitty cat buster. He's a void. A void kitty cat. This is all fine. I have vampiric embrace. Oh, we're fighting the boss. Okay, I didn't realize the boss would pull. We're gonna start going off with some mind blast. Do you hear the whispers? I'm out of range. It's the whispers, whispers, whispers. It's the whispers, whispers, whispers. We'll uh use that mind games on them. There you go, right now. Uh, we should have probably went for the red one first. I think he seems to be a problem for everybody. What is all this? Sandstorm. I don't remember that move. That's a new one. We have our Vampiric Embrace. Uh, I use that and all the damage I do heals us. Okay. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Ooh, we got the chicken mount. Wah, wah, wah. This is the Magister's Terrace Chocobo. It's the white Chocobo from Magister's Terrace. I was trying to remember this one of the last episodes. I think it was the last episode. I was like, this place reminds me of that one place. And I thought it was Tempest Keep, but it's actually Magister's Terrace. Magister's Terrace. It's a rare I drop, you know? Closer. It is a rare drop. I must get closer. Space is a word. Hold on. I'm looking for auto self-cast. That's combat, right? Auto self cast, got it. Boom. So now when I bubble, it just auto on me autos. Watch, I'm gonna mess this snail up. Take this snail. What you want with it, snail? What you got on my 40 snail? Nut. You ain't got nut. You ain't got nut. Alright, moving on. Wandering ancient in. Oh. The seasons are changing, guys. Oh, does this uh, Pepe in my head, little Pepe? <laughs> that little bird there. I got a toy bird. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is a loot stalwart here with the. It's a brief intermission where I have to explain. When I open my toy box, I hit P. And whenever I pause my stream while I'm recording it or while I pause my broadcast, I hit Shift, Control, Shift, P. I must have, like, in the middle of the dungeon, <laughs> hit control shift P instead of just P to open my toy box. So there's, like, a whole remainder of this uh, dungeon that's not being shown.
So yeah, you get to see whatever I unpause it after I finish my, uh, I think I'm working on my build. You'll see, guys. You'll see. It's exciting, though. <laughs> Peace. Or, or as we get back into it, uh, we'll resume the show from here. Bam. All right, we got our build here. I kind of went through it a little bit. We ended up in mind game shattered perceptions kind of area. I think I wanted to change that. We got void shift here. Currently target poverty swap health percentage. Nah, that's kind of like the shaman's link, but single target. Mm, lights inspiration. That's the way it was set up already. Binding hills, angels, mercy. This kind of makes you a healer, this type of stuff. Ooh, dispel. Leap of faith to dispel. That's what we should be going for. I don't even know if divine star. What is this? Power word life? A word of holy power that heals the target. If the target's below 35, it heals for 400% more. And the cooldown of power of life is reduced by 20 seconds. Yo, that's, that's a crazy heal. Uh, whoa. Can you be doing that? Unwavering will above 75% health. The cast time of your flash hill is reduced by 5%. The only way to get up there is to do that. Is to boost that flash heal. This is mind games. Mind games assaults the enemy's mind dealing 3,700 shadow damage and briefly re reverses their perception of reality for seven seconds in the next, uh, 4.5 K damage. They deal will heal their target. And so the damage that that person does while they're under this for seven seconds will heal whoever they're attacking. And then the next healing that they uh, deal will damage their target. So you can make a healer start damaging their party if you cast this on them for seven seconds. I don't know. It sounds cool for PvP. PvE, it sounds like you're just going to be giving very weak heals. Your Mind Blast, Mind Flay, Mind Spike reduce the cooldown in mind games. So that's cool. You could do it more often. It's a dot, right? It's a, it's a, it does its initial damage up front, which is loaded up almost as much as the damage over time effect. This makes it last an additional two seconds, dealing additional damage and reversing more damage and healing. I don't know if it's a DPS increase, but it's the only spell that makes sense for a DPS class over here. I don't know if I can take anything from anywhere else, but I'm going to be short. Activate fade and remove snare. I don't think that's oof. undo. Okay. Um, let's go like this. Doink, 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 doink. And then we got to do that again. We need, I want mass dispel. And I would actually like the improved version, but I don't know how I would get there. Angelic feather, nay? Aw, oh, man. Okay. So we would go here. There, there. And then we would need to get to that from where are we taking something? Power infusion also grants you 100% of its effect when used on an ally. Oh, that's why I use it on other players. Okay. Because then it gives me very cool, very cool. Power word shield and leap of faith increases target's movement speed. Yeah, that's fine. I'd be willing to sacrifice that for this. Actually, we would want use movement speed though. We don't need these. Oh yeah, that's how we're getting to that. From darkness comes light. Each time your shadow word pain deals damage, the healing of your next flash heal is increased up to 1%, up to a maximum of 50%. Whoa. Casting flash heal on yourself reduces all the damage you take. Increase healing of flash heal. Um... I don't see myself using flash heal, so it'd probably be better to go purify disease angelic feather and then leap of faith. And then reducing the cooldown of psychic scream doesn't really seem necessary. Son of a beast thing. Okay. Bank. Okay. So if we do that, okay. Uh, leap of faith. That one there. 
And then we can move these other two down to mass dispel and stuff. No, we don't reach it then. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm going to have to move one from uh, the left there. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're recording, right? Okay, let's go. What is this? Shadow Mend? Why do I have that macro? Do I not have Shadow Mend? That should be... Doink. I guess that mind suit can go down here. We got all our moves. Dark Void. We need this out here. We do have mines here. Let's put it on Damnation because I don't think I have Damnation anymore. Alright, here we go. We're playing now. Shush, 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 shush. It's the shadows, the secrets, the shadows. Buff everybody. Shadow Crash will apply the dots to everybody, right? And then we can start to power infuse and stuff. This is actually why we don't want to have a uh, auto self cast. That trinket takes all day. Does it? It does a decent amount of damage, I suppose. We're gonna need to focus somebody. Uh, the pally seems to be popping off. We'll make his damage exponential. Ready, guys? Okay, let's go. Boom. Let's just get a feel for this rotation. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, no, you're good. Dude. I thought he put that shit on me. Where is Mind Spike? I don't see it. Divine Star can be there. The darkness. I almost feel like that should be that. You um, aren't the ones who did this. What else? What else can we do here? I understand now. We don't need mind control. Find I might spec into purify disease. We're not gonna be an engineer anymore. I'll take that one. Passage to the creeks. Ilisana, you must hold them here. We have much to lose. Your father's life. Yeah, where is mine spike? It says it's out of here, but I don't see it on my bars. Where could I even put it? Probably here. I'd rather have that there. We can shift the assist power infuse. Right? Did he get that? No, he didn't. Maybe he was LOS. Things die so fast. It's so fast. Okay, okay. And then I gotta remember that I'm applying my Shadow Word Pain by hand here. See, I would just go ahead and just Mind Seer the tank. And just continuously keep the tank Mind Seared if he's in range. Oh, I run out of Insanity. So we do, we multi-dot to keep our Insanity up. And then we just Mind Seer the tank. Oh, that's... Require shadow form? Am I not in shadow form? Oh, I am now. 25 insanity every 0.7 seconds. Okay, okay, shadow priest. I don't know what this pool's doing. Yeah, I shouldn't be trying to multi-dot because things just die. <laughs> Shadow Priest, man. This is fun. <laughs> I gotta get better, though. I gotta do good. <laughs> okay, we'll dot one guy. There's a free mind spike here. I'll, I'll just do that. 
I'm just gonna disregard whatever this Hakili thing says. Yeah, I just require a target, that's all. So much fury in this soul. It so much fury. I don't know about this trinket. I'm finna just burn the whole fight just channeling this trinket's damage into her. It seems decent. Can I power infuse? Oh, my focus isn't... Is shift not my focus? Ah, you did it to me. How could you? Um... Can only be cast on players. He's a player, right? Maybe because he's in a different faction? I don't know. Let's go. Let's continue to go. I need to make a macro for my angelic feathers. So I can have a bubble and angelic feathers. We'll do that here after this dungeon. I need a target. I require a target. Hmm. Okay, we're we got some figuring out to do. I don't know if it's just how I set it up or that's just how quick things are dying. I don't know exactly why I'm not. I try to go in for the instant damage with mines here, but I think mines here costs insanity. So without the insanity required, I can't even cast it. So I don't know, like, I guess multi dotting is the only way to AOE other than your divine star. We figuring it out. We figuring it out. Okay. What the fuck, Shadow Priest? What you been doing out here? What you been doing, Shadow Priest? Here, get out to the paladin. Break it down. This trinket's a bait, man. It takes the whole fight. Okay, let's go. Don't come after me with that bullshit. I do okay on single target, it seems. My spell rotation doesn't really flow, though. It feels kind of disjointed or something. What if I go like this, like this, uh, like this, like this, and like that? Yeah? Shadow where death damages me if I don't uh, kill him with that move. I was just re realizing that as I cast it there way too early.
Okay, I like this. I like this. He boops Raven Crest on the nose. <laughs> Kratalos. You shall never have our world. You shall never have our world, you fiend. Enough. Might as well use the trinket up. I tire of this trinket. I don't want this trinket. A versatility brimming ember shard. I need to target something first. We'll give this to the paladin. Mind games, shadow crash coming in. Okay, I see the rotations opening up now. It's really opening up, guys. We're going, going. Uh, uh. Get him with it. Get him with it. Get him with it. Yeah, that felt good. I like being able to attack. That's the fun part of the game. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you all. Peace. All right, we got another talent there too. Another talent point we can spend. I'm going to be ironing out the kinks here of the Shadow Priest. So until next time. Until next time. Peace.